This video shows how to get started with the Fleet Advisor Target Recommendations feature. This new feature determines the right size and configuration of the migration target in the AWS cloud, for your on-premises databases. At a high level, the video covers the following steps. Create and download a data collector. Open the AWS DMS console and create a new data collector. Specify the Amazon S3 bucket where AWS DMS can store the data collected from your environment. Also, specify the IAM role that provides access to this S3 bucket. Next, download the data collector. Install and configure your data collector. Run the wizard to install your data collector. After the wizard completes the installation, you can manage your data collector in the browser. Before the first launch you can figure access credentials. Use these credentials to access your data collector. Next, configure data forwarding, so that you can see the collected data in the AWS DMS console. Choose the data collector, that you created in the AWS DMS console. You can see that the data collector can access your Amazon S3 bucket and the AWS DMS console. The DMS data collector uses an MDAP directory to gather information about OS and database servers in your network. To start the discovery of your servers, enter the credentials for your DAP server. Discover OS and database servers. First, use the data collector to discover the OS servers in your environment. Next, run the discovery of database servers. This process can take a while. Make sure that you provide the necessary database connection credentials so that the data collector can access your OS and database servers. After the data collector completes the discovery of your database servers, add them to the list of monitored objects. DMS Fleet Advisor can't collect performance metrics directly from MySQL and PostgreSQL databases. To collect metrics required for target recommendations, DMS Fleet Advisor uses OS metrics, where your databases run. When the DMS data collector can't identify the OS server where your database runs, edit the database server parameters. Make sure that you associate all your MySQL and PostgreSQL databases with the OS servers where they run. You can see in the AWS DMS console that the status of the data collector has changed to active. Also, in the inventory tab, you can see the information about databases from your data collector. Collect database metadata and resource utilization metrics. After you discover all database servers with your data collector, run the data collection. You can run SQL queries to collect database metadata and capacity metrics. Alternatively, you can use the data collector for ongoing monitoring on your databases. In this mode, the data collector captures resource utilization metrics and makes it possible to provide more accurate target recommendations. We start with collecting metadata from database servers. This metadata includes database schemas, versions, additions, CPU, memory, and disk capacity. After your data collector completes running SQL queries, you can see the collected metadata in the AWS DMS console. Next, we start the collection of resource utilization metrics. You can run data collector in your environment for 1 to 60 days.
In the Inventory tab, you can analyze the collected metadata to identify the candidates for migration to the cloud. Use this option to determine database schema properties, such as similarity and complexity. This analysis doesn't compare the actual code for objects. DMS Fleet Advisor compares only the names of schema objects such as functions and procedures to identify similar objects in different database schemas. You can see that DMS determined several similar database schemas and marked them as duplicates. Generate target recommendations To explore and choose an optimal migration target for your source databases, generate target recommendations. A recommendation includes one or more possible AWS target engines which you can choose for the migration of your source on-premises database. Choose source databases and configure the settings that the DMS Fleet Advisor uses to determine the size of target instances. To include a primary DB instance with a single standby DB instance in your recommendation, choose Multi-AZ. To include a single DB instance with no standby instances in your recommendation, choose Single AZ. To generate target recommendations based on the configuration of your source databases, choose Total Capacity. In this case, for over-provisioned and under-provisioned databases, your target recommendation will also be over-provisioned or under-provisioned. To generate target recommendations based on the actual utilization of your source databases, choose Resource Utilization. DMS Fleet Advisor generates target recommendations for databases where the data collector has collected the necessary information. For recommendations with a status of failed, run the data collector to collect the required information. Then, generate the recommendations again. A recommendation might include several possible AWS target engines. From these possible target engines, DMS Fleet Advisor suggests a single target engine as the recommended migration destination. You can review the recommendation details and compare the source database parameters with the parameters of the recommended target DB instance. DMS Fleet Advisor uses the AWS pricing calculator to determine the estimated monthly cost for the recommended target DB instance. Also, you can view the resource utilization charts. These charts show how the parameters of your target database match your source database utilization metrics. This completes the overview of the Fleet Advisor Target Recommendations feature. Thanks for watching the video.